Hi guys, it's Craig here with a very, very interesting fact about the iPad 2 that I bet you didn't know. I found this out the other day by accident actually and um, I searched high and low on forums, Google, everywhere I could think of, YouTube, to see if anyone else knew about this and it seems to me that this is a very, very well kept secret about the iPad 2. Um, maybe someone else knows about it, I'm sure Apple employees do, but most you, of you guys who use these devices don't. And it has to do with the speaker in the iPad. Now most people think that the iPad 2 speaker is mono. And I visited several forums um, looking up, you know, is the iPad speaker mono or is it stereo or whatever. The, the, the answer was always no, it's mono. So it's a mono speaker. Now, for those of you who don't, you know, know, I'm sure you do, but stereo means that you've got different things going on in each ear. You know, you got a guitar over here, a, you know, a bass over here, or, you know, piano in one ear and a vocal in the other, whatever. It's split. There, You can hear the separation. Stereo doesn't mean that it comes, comes out of both speakers. It means that there's actually different things going on in each ear. Now, when you plug headphones into the iPad, uh, is stereo, of course, and you can hear that. You can hear different things going on in each in each side. But when you play uh, music through the speaker on the iPad, you go, you don't hear that. It's just it sounds mono. But I discovered the other day that the speaker in the iPad is actually a stereo speaker. Now, before you stop this video and say, "Oh, this guy's just trying to get attention" or whatever, I'm going to prove this to you right now. So I'm I'm being serious. Okay, this is not a gimmick. The speaker in the iPad consists of two little speakers. Now if you look it up on YouTube you'll see if somebody takes the iPad apart you'll see that the speaker system actually does have two little speakers. That doesn't make it stereo necessarily but that's what's necessary for it to be stereo. Now as you know I've got the iPad flipped upside down here and you can I don't know if you guys will see this on camera but the speaker the speakers in the iPad are right up in the corner well they're normally in the lower corner Okay, but that's where the sound comes out. It's just that the speakers are placed so close together that you can't hear the stereo effect. Okay, so now what I did, and I'm gonna, this is, you're gonna, this is proof right here. I recorded a file on MP3 on my computer and I put two different, two separate songs. I put one song in the left ear and the other song in the right ear. Okay, so two separate songs playing at the same time. One in this year and one in this year. It sounds terrible, but it pro it's going to prove to you that there's actually two speakers, independent speakers in here that are working in stereo. Here's what it sounds like, first of all. Okay, so you can hear that there's one song there and another song there. All right, providing you're listening to this video in stereo. If you're watching this video on an iPad, you won't notice that. <laughs> okay, well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that, I took that song, I just that file that I just played you, and I put it on my iPad, and now I'm gonna prove to you that you can actually hear each independent left and right channel. Watch. So there's the song, right? There's the file. Right? Now you're hearing it in mono now because this is only a mono microphone. I'm gonna cover up one half of the, of the speaker system here and you're going to hear one of the songs disappear. And I'm going to cover up the other half of the speaker system and you'll, you're, you'll, you'll hear the other song disappear. Now you might think that this is a trick. It's not. You can do this yourself. You can, and I'm going to show you another way of, of proving to yourself that it's stereo without going through all the trouble I just went through. Um, you can do this just with a normal song. You just have to pick a song that's clearly in stereo and you can hear different instruments in each ear. But here's the proof. Watch. Or listen mostly. Right? Okay, now that's the iPad. 
That's what you're hearing right there. I was able to cover up each speaker and eliminate the song that was in that channel. That proves that this is stereo. Now, again, you might say, well, this is a gimmick. You're just making it up. You're trying to get you know hits on YouTube. No, that's not why I'm doing it. But So what you can do is get yourself a song that you know is in stereo. And that doesn't mean that it comes, to, just because it comes out of both speakers doesn't mean it's stereo. You actually have to have different things happening in, in each ear. So pick a song that you know has that. Some Beatles songs are actually really good for that. They've got the vocals in one channel and the instruments in the other and whatnot. So, but you know, get a song that you know has a good stereo separation. Put it on your iPad, play the song back, and then take your iPad Put your hand, there's the speaker system right there, put your hand right in the center of that little speaker grill and put your head right in front of it. And you're going to hear the stereo effect. You'll hear it. You'll hear the separation. You'll hear some instruments in one ear, some instruments in the other side. Because what you're doing is you're separating these two speakers out, right? You're, you're, you're isolating them so that you can hear the difference, you can hear the stereo separation. And that's how you're gonna prove it to yourself. Okay, there's one, there's one channel. And there's the other channel. All right. And what I'm thinking is, with the iPad 3, all they're going to do is move one of those speakers over to the other side and, and call it stereo, right? They won't have to change any circuitry. They won't have to redesign the audio amplifier. They won't have to do anything different than just, it's already stereo. It's already designed that way. They just didn't let you experience the stereo effect by putting the speakers in here the way they did. Is that a design flaw? With Apple, I doubt it. I don't think you get too many design flaws with Apple. I think that's a strategy with Apple. That's how smart Apple is. That's how smart Steve, Job, Steve Jobs was. And, and God rest his soul, by the way. I was very upset about, about his passing. And this is not a criticism about the product either. This is just a discovery that I made. And I think that in the iPad 3, you're just gonna see that little old speaker get moved over here. You'll have one there, you'll have one there, and you'll have stereo. Very, very smart on their part, very money saving very sneaky, okay? So do that test, put your hand there, get a stereo song, you'll see it's definitely stereo. And if you're an iPad 2 user like I am, and I definitely, absolutely love my iPad, I use it for everything. I've got, God knows what on here, it's just, a, it's an amazing marvel of technology. Um, it's the most amazing thing I've ever purchased. And if you do have an iPad 2, enjoy your stereo iPad 2, okay? Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.